What up everybody? Instructor Beats back again here with a converting lesson today. We're going to be talking about converting customary units of measurement by either hopping in the Lexus or riding on the saddle. So let's saddle up and see what our objective is today. Our objective today, today I will be able to convert customary units of measurement by choosing the Lexus or the saddle. So before we even get into really what is a Lexus and what is a saddle, here are steps to convert, okay? Step number one, you're going to make a have and wanted chart today, okay? What you are starting with, what you have, and then what you want to convert that to, all right? Then we're going to label the larger unit and the smaller unit. That's going to help us pick our mode of transportation. And then all we have to do is solve. Let's see these steps in action. All right, so here we have my steps over here, just to help remind us uh, what we're going to be doing. And our question says, how many cups are in 16 pints? So I went ahead and added this note right here that one pint equals two cups. Um, sometimes you'll have to draw your gallon garden or gallon man or gallon girl or whatever you draw to help you remember that. But just for the sake of this, I'm gonna go ahead and tell you the basic conversion tip that you need and then we're gonna see how we can use that once we make our have and wanted chart. So I have, right here, 16 pints, and I want, okay, to turn that into blank cups. That's what I mean by having my have and wanted chart. And it's important that you do this because now we're going to label the larger unit, right? So a one pint is bigger than one cup, and so I'm gonna go ahead and put my larger unit right here which makes my cups my smaller unit. And this is gonna help me pick my mode of transportation because I'm either gonna be taking a Lexus, okay, which is larger unit to smaller unit, which means we're gonna be multiplying, or I'm gonna be taking a saddle, which is smaller unit to larger unit, smaller to larger, that's why the S comes first, which means you will be dividing, right? See the D's in the middle right there. So for this one, I'm starting with the larger unit, which means I'm going to be taking my Lexus. Larger to smaller means we multiply. Larger to smaller means Lex comes out. So one pint equals two cups. So I'm gonna be doing 16 times two, which would be 32. So I can see that 16 pints would actually be equivalent to 32 cups. So the Lexus and saddle really are just a way to remember what operation you're doing. If you're going larger to smaller, you're multiplying. If you're going smaller to larger, you're taking your saddle, right? And you're gonna be dividing because the D right there is in the middle of the small and large. Whereas the X for the Lexus is in the middle of the large and the small. Just a fun shortcut to remember what operation we're gonna be doing to help us solve these conversion problems. All right, so here we have our we do problem. Go ahead and make sure you're pausing the video as we go through this to write this one down in your notes. It's always important to have an exemplar to look at as you begin to try things later by yourself, okay? So our question here says, how many pounds are in 304 ounces? And again, you may have to know that by yourself. You might have to draw a pound guy or whatever way that you remember that 16 ounces are in one pound. I went ahead and just gave us this note because this lesson is really about making our have and want a chart and then picking our Lexus or saddle, okay? So this is just the information we're gonna to use to convert in a second. So here we have, for this one, 304 ounces, and I'm gonna go ahead and use OZ for ounces, and we want to turn that into pounds, okay? You might see LBS for pounds, or they might just write pounds. Next, we wanna label the larger and smaller unit. So one pound is bigger than one ounce. So my pounds, will, I will label my larger unit, which means my ounces would be my smaller unit. And again, I label this up here because now I can see I'm starting with my smaller to larger. Smaller to larger means look, saddle up now. Which means we have to saddle up, right? And in the middle of saddle is a D, which tells us we need to divide, right? So I'll be taking my saddle to help me with this conversion problem. So I'm gonna do 304 ounces, and then this is where my note comes in handy, okay? Divided by 16, okay? Because really what's happening is I'm taking 304 ounces and I'm separating them into groups of 16. So this saddle and Lexus is really just a shortcut, but it's a helpful shortcut. So 304 divided by 16, which you can solve with 
any way type of division that you want, but when you do that, it should give you 19, all right? So 304 ounces is going to be 19 pounds. So again, taking the saddle, going from smaller to larger, means we need to divide. All right, so here's your U-Try you problem, okay? You're gonna pause the video, you're gonna try this problem by yourself, and then push play to check your understanding. So go ahead and pause it, make your have and wanted chart, and try this video by following our steps and choosing your Lexus or saddle. So hopefully you just paused it, okay? And we're gonna go over it, so you should be checking your work at this point. Um, and so I'm gonna make my have and wanted chart, Okay, and I have 864 inches, there we go, and I want to turn that into blank yards, okay? So again, you may have to memorize this by yourself or have come up with a fun way to draw it. I used to do yard man, right, with three um, feet that made a yard, and then you wrote down the inches, um, but I'm gonna go ahead and give you the note right here. So one yard equals 36 inches. Next, we need to label our larger unit and smaller unit. So one yard would be larger than one inch. So my yards are larger and my inches are smaller, which means I'm gonna be taking my saddle because I'm going from smaller to larger, which means I need to divide, right? Again, the way I remember that is I'm going from smaller to larger and then a D is in the middle of saddle. So that would be divide. So I'm gonna use my note right here, and we're gonna do 864, and we're gonna be dividing that into groups of 36 to figure out how many yards we can make. Again, you could have divided this any way you wanted, but if you did it right, you would've gotten 24. So 864 inches equals 24 yards. All right, so hopefully this is just a quick, easy way for you to be able to solve these conversion problems. The big thing you need to do is make your have and wanted chart. That really comes in handy if you're doing mixed numbers or two-step problems, which you can check out our lessons for that. And then all you gotta do after you do that is pick your Lexus or your saddle. Are you going from smaller to larger or are you going from larger to smaller, right? So just a fun way to remember that, check out our awesome song. We appreciate you guys so much checking out Instructive Beast today. We know that there are lots of different options online. We'd love for you to subscribe, leave a comment, let us know where you're watching from. Check out our website, InstructiveBeats.com, and all our different merchandise. Thanks again, Instructive Beats, out.